Today, we're gonna to talk about the Spanset beekeeping strap. Hello, I'm Griffiths, welcome to Winning Griffith. Here we talk everything beekeeping, farming, countryside living, and we do reviews as well. Now today, I wanna to talk about the Spanset strap. This is by far my favorite strap at the minute. It's super good quality, made in the UK and there's no springs or ratchets. There's nothing like that in it. It's basically a strap, a buckle, and good old fashioned physics, and we can secure a hive, no problem. There's nothing to fail on this strap, so it's the perfect strap for being outside in the middle of nowhere where we keep our bees. Now, basically, it's just a strap, good old fashioned, Good quality strap, rated to 200 DAN. You're never gonna put more force on that strap than, than what's capable of doing with a buckle. You've got a, a solid steel buckle. Now, the, there are imitation copies of the span set on the market. As you can see by the thickness of that steel, that is never gonna bend where a cheaper one that could bend. And unlike most of the straps on the market, the ones we sell, we actually sell this strap. This has got a rubber grommet on it again. And that makes everything a lot more secure and just better product overall by having that on there. So that's it basically about its features. I know you're looking at that thinking, well Griff, how on earth is that gonna strap a beehive down? Well, let me show you. So here we are, we've got a Payne's Poly. Now you can imagine this is full of bees and we're about to move it, so we need to strap this hive down. Now there's two ways of using this strap. A lot of people don't know that. I'll show you the most, uh, most popular way of using a strap. And that's coming on it or from the back like that. So we're looking, that S shape is facing us like that. And we've bent that strap now around the front. So we bring this strap, we're gonna go underneath there and then back round on the S. Around there and around there. So that's all I've done. Come round there and then over the top underneath. So I'll just do that again. Over there and then underneath. Now with these straps, if you pull that super tight, that won't tighten at all, that's just too tight. So we gotta give it some slack. That's a bit too slack, but perfect for the video demonstration. And then that's it, that's all you do. So I'll do that one more time. Round the back, down the front. That's it. Now I'll show you another way. This is how I tend to use these straps. So instead of coming in like that, I'll come in a different way. So I'll come in from the front. So I'll come in like that. And instead of using that piece as the buckle, I'm gonna use this piece and that piece as the buckle. And I find this uh, a bit easier. And when we fold this now, it's gonna fold and it's gonna have lots of material underneath the buckle protecting the hive. So we're gonna come through there, underneath there, and basically in exactly the same way, we control the slackness, and then that's too tight. That's perfect. And then that's it. Nothing is gonna make that fail. I mean, you know, you can swing this around, doesn't matter. That is solid. So that's the only difference really. We're just using, we're using the same lever system, but just in a slightly different way. Uh, this strap is strong enough to do it. And we've got that rubber grommet adding rubber friction on whichever way you wanna do it. Now we've got lots of slack. The best thing to do with the slack, if you're super tidy and you wanna keep everything neat, 
roll that slack into a little ball and then you just feed that underneath like that how tidy is that well i'm sure you'd agree this is a fantastic strap what a simple design you can use it uh, two ways they both work exactly the same way the, the second one is my favorite way of doing it but i mean you, you haven't got any springs any ratchets nothing to fail there's literally nothing to fail on this strap and as long as you know how to use it this strap will last you for years and years and years and never let you down now within commercial beekeeping in the uk this is by far the most popular strap uh, in use but within the the hobby sector it's not the most popular strap because people i don't think they quite know how to use it but once hopefully you've seen this video you can see how simple that design is you'd want to transfer over to using this type of type of strap rather than the ratchet type now the reason i'm not keen on ratchet straps no don't get me wrong i do love ratchet straps when i strap stuff down on the trailer and the back pickup i want to use the ratchet system but the difference between a big ratchet and a small ratchet is all the me mechanisms are bigger the small one they've only got tiny springs in them and after time that will start to wear there'll be a bit of play one side will fail and then you can't undo the strap so that's why i don't like it and i just think within beekeeping we're outside in the middle of nowhere that is simple and simple that's how i like to keep my bees that's how i like to keep my equipment and kit as primitive as possible the least amount of stuff to go wrong that's what i like and this strap fits that category perfectly well that's it for this video hopefully you enjoyed it and don't forget if you like this video and you want to watch more of the same kind of content then please subscribe to my youtube channel i try my best to upload new videos every week thanks for watching